Hi, so I'm Evan Kaplan, and this is my presentation on a lyrical comparison of Kendrick Lamar's albums. So for context, hip-hop is a popular music genre, uh, and it's been, historically, it's been a platform for social change and social justice issues. Uh, artists such as Jay-Z and groups such as Public Enemy have published songs such as 99 Problems and Fight for Power that have sort of uh, illustrated social justice movements and issues for change. So yeah, there are instruments for artists to convey messages and promote uh, social justice issues. And I specific specifically chose Kendrick Lamar uh, because he is known for his virtuosic song co collections unified by their vernacular authenticity and rhythmic dyna dynamism that offers affecting vignettes capturing the complexity of modern African-American life. Uh, he's an American rapper born in Compton, California, which is a neighborhood in Los Angeles, California that is known for being poverty stricken, has a high crime rate, and sort of it's just a not place to not a great place to grow up. So yeah, uh, even more about Kendrick Lamar, he's a very accomplished storyteller, evidenced by his 16 Grammy Awards and his 2018 Pulitzer Prize Award. Uh, he's known for sort of conveying a storyline in each of his songs and trying to push a message uh, in each of his albums. So this led me to my research question: What are the thematic similarities Kendrick Lamar's album "Damn" bears in comparison to themes derived from his album "Good Kid, Mad City"? Uh, so the two albums I selected were "Good Kid, Mad City," which in, in the presentation I refer to as GKMC, and "Damn." So to start, "Good Kid, Mad City" is sort of uh, Kendrick's like homage to his childhood experience growing up in Compton, his uh, childhood years, teenage years, and early adult life. Uh, he details his life growing up, sort of events he encountered and experienced in Compton. Uh, and the van in the album cover is actually his mom's old Dodge Caravan, so it really just pays homage and sort of illustrates what his childhood life was like growing up in Compton. To explore this, I will utilize a mentor study. A thesis student named Andrew Hollinger at Baylor University did a quali qualitative case study on Good Kid Mad City where he analyzed the lyrics and found several themes which I will use to explore Dan. Now, Dem is more of an introspective view into Kendrick's psyche as an adult. So he sort of uh, presents like who he wants to be versus who he is right now. He sort of takes an in-depth look at himself, what he's done in his experience as an adult. He does this through the persona of Kung Fu Kenny, which is an, an anonymous character uh, that sort of portrays Kendrick's experiences as an adult compared to his experience as a child. So this led me to my gap, which is sort of a focus on a comparison between albums. These albums were written five years apart, so it is a, it's possible to sort of see Kendrick's thematic growth as his uh, discography evolves. Uh, and I wanted to sort of compare what his experiences growing up and how they affected his later adult life and uh, from Good Kid Mad City to Dan. So for my primary literature review, I used Andrew Hollinger's analyzation of Good Kid Mad City. Uh, he did, as I said, he did a qualitative case study where he unearthed uh, a few major themes such as socioeconomic reality, violence and retaliation, substance abuse, promiscuity, and community. And these were all uh, themes unearthed in Kendrick Lamar's experience growing up in Compton through Good Kid Mad City. So again, as a, uh, these themes are pivotal to Lamar's development as a child, and I sort of wanted to use them to frame my research going into my analysis of town. Uh, I also used Alec Bansall's case study of Mr. Morale and the, Good, and the Big Steppers. He did this by analyzing the album and then comparing it to African American lived experiences he surmised before analyzing the album. Uh, so his, his research sort of uh, presented how African American lived experiences were represented in Lamar's work in Mr. Morale. And I, he identified nine main themes that were community and upbringing, family relationships, trauma, world issues, internal change, spirituality, artistry and culture, the savior complex, uh, and fame clan materialism. So I sort of wanted to cross-reference uh, cross Bansall's work with African-American lived experiences with Hollinger's work on themes surmised in Good Kid Mad City and sort of understand them and use them to frame my analysis of them. So again, my method will be a comparison of Hollinger's analysis of the themes he found in Good Kid Mad City to my own theme. So, uh, I, will, I, will, I surmised in my analysis of Dam. So I just want to compare the similarities, mainly the similarities and differences of Hollinger's described themes uh, and how I sort of explored them in Kendrick Lamar's Dam. And this way, I can develop an understanding of Lamar's thematic growth uh, by sort of comparing the albums he wrote across five years. 
and seeing how he grew in his discography. So my raw data were just lyrics imported from the uh, Genius website on Dam. Uh, Good Kid, Mad City's lyrics, is, lyrics were already analyzed by Hollinger, so I don't really have to worry about those. Uh, I used MaxQDA, which is a coding software, uh, and I used it to sort of code and look for themes in Dam. So my process sort of went like I would uh, import the lyrics into MaxQDA, uh, and then I would read the lyrics and actually listen to the song by Kendrick Lamar to sort of gain like, insight on his tone and his context while he recorded the song. Uh, and then I highlighted any words or phrases that sort of had to do or related to the themes Hollinger discovered in Good Kid, Mad City. So going into it, I sort of used those themes he discovered to kind of frame my research and just look for certain themes that would, I, I would be able to relate to his work. Uh, then I, at the end of each song, I would use the paraphrase function, which sort of, sort of allows you to write comments uh, and kind of detail what you found. And I use this to describe the implication and relationship between the two albums just for my understanding of later research. And then I would group and discuss uh, how the themes in Dan related to the ones found in Good Kid, Mad City. So getting into my results, the first song I analyzed was DNA. Uh, and the theme I found that connected with Hollinger's analysis of Good Kid, Mad City was socioeconomic reality. So uh, Good Kid, Mad City talks about like sort of gang relationships and the idea that being in a poor socioeconomic reality forces many people to turn to a gang life in order to earn money. And then DNA echoes this by uh, sort of highlighting the unfortunate relationship, the unfortunate uh, reality of many people in Kendrick Lamar's life, seeing as he knows many like burglars, uh, criminals, dead people, many different um, like sort of ideals. And then, so yeah, his socioeconomic circumstances subpar in both albums. People have to turn to gang life and committing crimes in order to earn money. Uh, the next song I analyzed was Y'all, and I found that the theme common between Good Kid Mad City and uh, Dan here was substance abuse. So in Good Kid Mad City, there's descriptions of substance abuse. Kendrick Lamar sees many people abusing uh, alcohol and liquor in the song Swimming Pools while he was growing up. And then later on in Dan, uh, his sort of addiction and substance abuse vices changed from alcohol to money. And then the next song was XXX, and this theme was violence and retaliation. So in Good Kid, Mad City, it talks about uh, how Kendrick Lamar sort of witnessed a lot of gang virus, gang violence uh, among many gangs in Compton. And then this later is reflected in his adult life in Dam, where he notes that if somebody kills my son, that means somebody is getting killed. Uh, this is a pervasive theme in his life, and it's obvious that his childhood experience, exper experiencing violence in Compton has become evident in his adult life and death. Uh, my next song was Loyalty, and then uh, the theme I found was Community. So, so in Good Kid, Mad City, Kendrick uh, describes Martin Luther King's dream and how it has become his own dream. So he wanted to sort of expand his community by uh, furthering on a notable social activist's dream. And then later on in Dam, uh, he sort of notes that his community has become more of a secret society. He goes from wanting a far-reaching community with many pervasive ideals to having a smaller, more insular community where it's sort of uh, kept hidden from larger society. So in Love, uh, the theme was promiscuity. Uh, in Good Kid, Mad City, Kendrick's experience with uh, love and relationships is sort of superficial. It's only, he only wants to be with Shireen, as he notes in his song, for sexual reasons. And then in Dam, it evolves to a more romantic understanding, where he just wants to be in a relationship uh, and wants to be with you. So the limitations to my study were that Kendrick's experiences are not identical to all uh, lived experiences of African Americans. We can't take one person's experiences and try to apply it to all other people. Uh, in addition, I was also limited by the word count. I could have uh, I could have explored some of the skits and interludes in both of Kendrick Lamar's albums, but I wasn't able to because sort of the word count. Because skits and interludes sort of have less uh, musical value, but they are full of thematic and sort of symbolic lyrics. Uh, and if for further research, other artist comparisons would need to have introspective albums. So I use Dam as an introspective album because Kendrick sort of takes a deep dive into who he is 
and uh, who he wants to be. So other artists would need to have something like that where they sort of reflect on who they are in order for this analyzation to be done. So for future research, uh, this could be used for further comparison of Kendrick Lamar's albums, such as Bansell's work on Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, or possibly to Pimp a Butterfly. Uh, it would need, like I just said, it would need sort of an introspective al uh, album for this to be applied to other artists' work. Uh, this could also be applied to other artists who have grown up in dangerous areas, such as 50 Cent, who grew up in the Queens area of New York, and Snoop Dogg, who grew up in LA. Uh, 